Welcome back, everybody. This is Tony from Tony's Flute Art. Um, this week, I decided against going against all of my intuition in pouring in other metallic painting and stuck with some very nice colors, bright colors this time. Um, a red, sort of deep red, a violet, and a really nice darker but deeper blue as well. So I went with a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas this go around for this pour and decided to go back to my standard oxide black for my base coat. So let's get into some color. But quickly, do not forget to pop your bubbles if you have a heat source like a torch or a heat gun, making sure to pop all those pinholes in your base color. Again, mine is oxide black by Amsterdam. Okay, and getting into a bit of color here with this pour, I decided to, like I said earlier, go against my intuition or feelings of how I had poured in previous weeks and go with a bit of color. And this is a deep red as my first color. And this is a red violet, which to be honest is one of my favorite colors once it dries lately. I found that the red properties in this paint are really pretty and brings up more red than you'd think. So a good combination of the red and violet along with the manganese blue, which is my favorite word in the world to say, the manganese blue as my swiping color. So in terms of swipes going red to blue, I am going blue through red on purpose because I want that blue to stretch on out as far as possible through this swipe, leaving a million little cells and lacing stripes, which looks really, really good. Now going in for my second swipe, which was equally as pretty, I realized during this pour, I hadn't done a rectangle pour in probably three months which may sound silly, but when you get used to painting with either a rectangle 12 by 24 or a square like a 20 by 20 or um, 16 by 20 for a smaller rectangle, these longer canvases for myself anyway, got to be a little bit tricky because I wasn't quite sure where I wanted my lacing patterns to go. So leading into this third and fourth sway, I wanted to try to stretch out my lacing and cell effects as far as I could vertically along the length of the canvas, rather than try to force them to stay on the canvas, the width way. So this was my intent for these last two um, swipes. I'm gonna go through here with this pour and it turned out really, really nice. All right, and for my question of the week, do any of you paint pour artists out there in the galaxy who do this for a hobby or as part of your part-time job or full-time job. Have you ever come across a time where you've really struggled with getting ideas in your dome, in your head, for the sake of what you want to do this coming week or planning forward? I had a really hard time deciding what to do this week and ultimately went back to a bit of a standard swipe technique being um, so like a swipe sorry what I really enjoy doing myself and a simple color combination so I was getting into lots of metallics the past few weeks like I mentioned before with some copper and silver and some really pretty metallics but I couldn't think of a decent or different type of pour that I had done in a while so I decided to go the opposite route get some brighter colors that would pop in the end and try those out instead. Now, one more thing to note real fast here is that again to my point earlier, when you aren't used to pouring on a specific size canvas or doing a specific technique like a swipe or a Dutch pour or whatever, uh, this longer canvas was a little tricky initially because I hadn't done a long vertical canvas in a long time. And I wanted to stretch out my lacing as best I could without distorting or stretching too, too far. 
making it look um, as pretty as possible, keeping all those colors on the canvas again in that vertical line. So making sure to kind of tilt back and forth, side to side, seeing where the paint was for the weight of the paint kind of puddles when you first pour on your base coat. It isn't always level, so you do your best to just kind of maintain where your colors are, where the paint is, and in this case, just going really, really slow back and forth, side to side, to keep the paint where it's supposed to be and kind of maintain your ultimate desired pattern in the end. Now looking back on this pour, I'm actually really glad I can see the painting from this angle being top down versus looking down at it from the other side. So these colors turn out much brighter in terms of fluorescence than I thought they would. So the red and violet gave off this pinkish tinge or bubblegum type of feel to them. And the blue in combination made a really cool color pattern. And I wanted to stretch it out through the far side of the painting to make sure that that lacing stretches far out and the blue goes as far as possible to kind of maintain, again, that brightness I was talking about earlier in the entire color combination. So I found this color combination was really, really pretty. All right, so I'll put this question back on to you guys. Ultimately, what do you think of this pour? I really enjoy my swipes, which you guys know full well. Um, and those of you who are new, I really like swipes. I'll just put it out there in the world to know that Tony enjoys doing swipe techniques. Um, so anyway, of the color combination or the technique, what do you guys think? I'll leave your comments below in the comments section just below this video. And any, any thoughts or feedback for me on how this went, what you think, I appreciate all of the comments and all the people who come by weekly to check out my pores and my channel. I appreciate you. Um, again, just feedback on the pour itself and how we did. So let's check out the wet look in a second. But again, I appreciate you all for being here and we will chat in the comments in a second. And as I wrap up this tilt here, just pulling the paint back into the center to give me a bit, of, bit more of a wavy feel to this pattern altogether, compared to a bit of a straight look before. Um, I found that this painting went quite well. And as we go in for an overhead look, I'll tell you why. So the manganese blue, which is again, so fun, um, really did a job as you kind of zoom in over top and check out how far this lacing actually went. It goes from one end to the other and did a really, really good job at what I'd hoped it would. So I'm quite happy with the overall um, look of the painting, the lacing itself, and the composition of the painting too. So um, if you have enjoyed, please click the like button below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And again, feel free to leave me a brief comment in the comment section below and what you guys thought overall on this pour. And we will catch you again in the next one.